uh, in one sense you could say book description is almost like a crucible where character is being built while we are actually giving uh, prabhupad's mercy to others but it's not just that say we are of course we spiritually benefited but even from this world's perspective the character is being shaped in a very tangible and valuable way prabhu we've changed that to the main point about the way i present book distribution is, is that it is high sadhana and the reason we're doing book distribution is for our own purification when you start with that baseline then there's no reason to not go out it's a sadhana it's part of our practice everything else is extra whether we distribute books or not is inconsequential the fact that you went out you crossed the threshold you went out for your own purification to go beyond your comfort zone and you you did the right thing you tried it that's the sadhana and there are other aspects you know to hear and chant before you go out and so forth the four laws of book distribution starting with your sadhana must be strong that's where we start with book distribution and that's what we teach and then nobody's disappointed because often times people say well i can't distribute any books so that's not the point the point is to go out with the other devotees and do sankirtan which means sam samyak kirtan and when you do that you'll improve in devotional service that's why we're doing it don't worry about distributing the books that happens automatically that's true in one sense you are practically applying karma nevadikara as krishna says don't be attached to the results <laughs> so yeah that's amazing so when we are talking about book distribution uh you talked about many aspects now so to what extent do you feel that the book distribution uh translates into people becoming devotees say in from your experience in silicon valley now at one level we know krishna says manushya naam sahasreshu so one among 1000 and even if people come for a programs so like in india we do uh there are there are bhagavad gita courses or whatever so thousands of people may come for a janmashtami festival but very few will say register for any course or any regular connection so is there some some kind of one book distribution is we travel to different places and distribute books like a bus party but what you have also focused on with your community model is more in a particular area to where people can access have access to a community so how how is that worked out in terms of uh from book distribution to the journey of people coming to a temple uh, is that a major way people are joining the community also yes it is uh, there's a direct correlation there's a one to one correlation that can be measured however uh, to understand the efficacy of book distribution one must start study gardening because uh, the gardener knows that there are certain amounts of seeds as mentioned in the bible also that that when landing on uh, certain types of soil will have uh, their, their their ultimate effect uh, yeah. i got a couple of seeds when i was in mayapur uh, from a tamarind pod in fact actually i was i was visiting a a holy place with janani vas prabhu and he picked up a pod off the ground a tamarind he said here crack it open and eat it and it happened to be a tree under which lord chaitanya and nitinanda had danced so i did and then i kept the seeds and i brought them home and i said i'm all try to plant them and i put them in the ground after following the directions i found on youtube how to grow tamarind seeds and lo and behold they didn't come up so i just thought well what can you do i tried and uh mm-hmm. however i kept watering them and a few weeks after the initial period where i thought they'd come up they came up and i started dancing uh in ecstasy like wow <laughs> they're there so we have to trust seeds there is no book that ever goes out that doesn't have an effect this is uh absolutely true the holy name has its effect nama chintamani krishnas and these books tadvagvi sargo janataga viplavo yasmin prati shlokam abadya bhaktipi namanyanantasya they're full of the names of the lord they can't not be effective it's impossible so the seeds will have their effect we have to understand that but gardener knows that where we place the seeds under different conditions they'll come up at different rates uh of time so 
that's the baseline to understand book distribution. Second point, if I keep going on here, is that books change human society, period. That's how systemic change takes place socially in society. It's also how we transport culture across time and geography. Uh, books are the delivery system. They not only transform society. Look at Darwin's uh, theory of evolution. It came from a book. If someone organizes his or her thoughts and puts it in a book and takes the trouble to publish it and what to speak of it gets distributed, the effect is is generational. So everyone every, uh, everywhere knows about evolution. They write about it regularly in their self-help books. So there's always a point you come to where people say, yeah, this is because we evolved <laughs> in a certain way. And they just accept it. Why? It was in a book. And there are political movements that started. The, the whole American Revolution came from a book, a booklet. It's the highest um, per capita distribution of any book in still today that was distributed in, in the colonies before the American Revolution that sparked the revolution is a book by Thomas Paine called Common Sense. It's a great book, by the way, amazingly written. So the point is, <clears throat> books are what change human society, period. That's why uh, despots burn books. They don't want people to read them because the humans love books. They're going to read them. They're going to get changed. And our books always have their effect. There is no case where the books go in vain. It's impossible. It doesn't happen. It's just a matter of uh, the facility we create around them, but that the, the seed will come up in due course of time. So we also have to be ready for that. Hmm.